In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a scene like this, all using nothing but an iPad and Procreate Dreams. Now, the feature that I want to demonstrate in this video is the perform feature, and that basically allows you to perform an action, and Procreate captures the movements and stores them as the animation. Instead of having to animate every single keyframe, you just move it like you're acting. And one more thing, I just got sent this package here from Pen Tips. I don't exactly know what is inside. It is some sort of an iPad accessory, so we'll take a look at that at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so let's get started by creating a new project. So tap plus button. I'm gonna do a widescreen 4K video. So it starts like this. Don't like the background being white, so I'm gonna turn the background to black. Now we need to import all of the assets from the Procreate file into here. So let's just start by importing one by one. And we get the fairy in between here, the spell, and then this fairy right here goes here. So with three fingers, I'm able to quickly compress on the timeline right here. So now we have all of the layers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have all of the layers in Procreate Dreams. And if we zoom into it, we see, okay, that looks correct. I'm gonna group them all together as a single group. And then I'm gonna scale it up simply Selecting the group here, I'm gonna scale up. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than it needs to be so that we can zoom out. So the video should start roughly like this. And you see her sort of poking out and then going back in. Then I'm gonna have her like shoot out and fly into this part of the scene. Now, if you're wondering, why do I have this layer right here? Well, it's because this layer hides her, the little fairy. So this layer is basically the front part of this house right here. Now, before I do anything, I'm gonna erase this part right here. We don't have those black section right here. So let's think, what should we do first? I'm gonna do the character performance first. So I'm gonna move her back and forth, and then she's gonna go out and then fly in this direction. So what I'm thinking is something like, go and we're gonna pan the camera really quick and then this is gonna appear so let's try this so starting with putting the action point on this layer let's tap the record button and as you see nothing happens we've pressed the record button but nothing is actually recording and that's because it only starts recording when you put the pencil down so let's try this here a little bit of role play and action hmm? Then I'm gonna remove this keyframe right here because I messed it up. It goes and then here, and then here goes as she flies up. Ready and so this looks like a little bit too fast. So let's try again. So that looks roughly like this. Okay, <laughs> now when she goes from here, when she's fully out, I'm gonna actually just remove this front section so that she's in front of the layer all the time. So she doesn't go, as you can see here, like behind this section. So she's gonna go boop. And now I'm gonna split this layer. That's this button. You tap on the action button. I'm gonna do split. I'm gonna do delete. So the next thing we're gonna do is as she moves right here, she's gonna transition into that character over there. She's gonna become that character. But as you can see right here, she's oriented like this, but the other character is like that. So we'll need to rotate her as she goes into that final transition. As she's 
here, I want to rotate her right here into place. So how do we rotate when this is in this performance mode? Well, if we just hover over here, you see this little icon right here. Now that is a rotation icon. If I were to tap the record button, we could actually do the performance like so. <laughs> okay, that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. One more time, one more time. Well, let's just try this again. Uh, go. There we go, there we go. Hmm? Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, let's, let's give this section also a little bit of rotation. This just gives her a little bit more liveliness. Now, we can go even further and, and we can animate the warping of our wing. So the way we do that is we tap on the action button on the drawing itself, this drawing, and we set a move point. And we're gonna do warp. And that's gonna create a bit of a mess for us. And if we just tap on the record button right here, I'm gonna perform a warp action in real time. Okay, let's go. See what's happening? All of this is being captured. Now this does not look good, so <laughs> I think I'm not gonna keep it. But I just want to show you the sort of flexibility that you have. But let's just keep it like it is uh, and undo that warp. Let's move on with the scene. Now we need the camera to move. So how do we make the camera move? Well, as you noticed earlier, we created this group here. This group contains all of the layers on the timeline. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a move keyframe, move and scale keyframe on this group. So starting here, this is going to slowly pan out until about there. And then I'm going to zoom into her as she flies out. So we do another move and scale. And now Slowly zooming out. There we go. Now we do another keyframe. I could try to do this with perform, but I want to have more control over this. We do even like a pan. It's gonna happen over a few seconds. Just gonna move this keyframe so it happens quicker. And then slowly zoom in to here, another key from here. And then she goes bye bye. And we're gonna pan really quickly. Moment, we need to create a moving scale. And then we follow her and zoom out at the same time. And if you have the newer iPads with the hover functionality, you can just hover over the timeline to preview. Okay, let's try this out. <laughs> that works surprisingly well. This is so much fun. I don't know if it's capturing on camera here, but I've been animating now for maybe two weeks at the very max. If I can do this in a span of a few minutes. Can't even imagine the sort of stuff that you're going to be able to create. The amount of talent out there just absolutely blows my mind. And by the way, if you're a talented animator and you want to be featured on the channel, if you want to, you know, talk about something, you want to show something, something cool that you made, or you want to teach us specific trick. Drop me a line, I'll leave the email right here. Pass the hundred. So let's now try to export this animation. So to do that, I'm gonna tap on this one right here and then we can do movie. And let's just do better quality. That's going to take a few minutes to export. Now, as we wait for this to export, I want to open up the packets that we got from Pentips. So Pentips is the one that sent me this ergonomic grip, the Pentips nips right here, the glove. And now let's take a look at 
what is inside. So, ooh, there we go. A magnetic matte screen protector. We have this thing right here and tips. Now, what is this? Well, this is a magnetic screen protector and the way it works is it basically just snaps onto the iPad, sticks to it. So you have this sort of drawing feel. It feels much more like paper, but they also sent me these ones. So let me just switch these over. So as I switch this over, you might be able to see here, it has this metallic tip. And let me just quickly check out what this is supposed to do. Okay, so the package that they sent me is called Ink and Paper. And what this specific pen nib is supposed to do is mimic the feel of pencil. So as we draw with this on the pen mat, it's supposed to feel more like a pencil compared to anything else out there. So, so let's quickly try that out. Green size here. I'm just gonna do brand new traditional artist pencil here. Oh, what? I don't know if you can hear it. Let me just... I, ow, ow, wow, okay. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised by this. Okay, I'm, I, I need to do a separate video about this. <laughs> if you wanna pick up any of the products that I use on the channel from pen tips, then go ahead and check out the affiliate link in the description. But the show must go on, so let's see the final video. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you can do with about one and a half weeks animation experience. And that's just me, you know, playing around with Procreate Dreams. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care.